Too many people have been talking about the good things that they're expecting and we're here to dispel some of that and kind of bring people back to reality. Yeah, you've got to remember that we're part of um, the gaming community and um, the gaming community consists of some of the most toxic people around. Oh god, they're horrible. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, let's be toxic today. Oh, surprise, bitch! Pay me this money or I'm going to ruin your life! And... Okay, fine. Because at the end of the day, most people are the same. They're just a bunch of greedy scumbags who want to make as much money as possible. Simon Miller, Miller's taken it. This game is enjoyable. Even if, like myself, you've become a bitter, twisted old man. He was also a bit of a toss in more ways than one. Who see Disney as no more than a bunch of greedy corporate bastards who want to steal your fingerprints and extort as much money out of you as possible. <laughs> I can pick up supply agency work. Um, this country in particular has a crisis in the field of teaching and they need all the support they can get. So I'd like to continue to educate if I can. I, I've got a passion for education in general, I suppose, hence why I enjoy that side of things, but also enjoy making videos. If you watch the majority of my content, most of it is actually education based. That's my passion. As much as gaming is my passion, I suppose education is even more of my passion. Ask me my three main priorities for government. And I tell you, education, education, and education. So we hope tonight has been somewhat of an education, education, education for everybody watching. Yeah. It's just sad, really, that the money is not involved in education, what is potentially in YouTube. You've certainly got, not got the same level of mobility in education that you've got on YouTube. But I suppose the game of teaching, which is another thing that's really always attracted me to it, is the fact that I could pick up those qualifications and get a job essentially in any school in, on, in any country on planet Earth. Keep your mouth shut. Nobody wants to hear your opinion. Needs to understand. And now he's taking the... You know me. I started raging. I really wanted to get past the, really? se past the seventh stage. I've never seen that. You're always quite calm and collected. But once I was past the seventh stage, fine, smooth sailing. I've never seen you rage. It's not. Mm. It's, like, it's not that common. Maybe it should be like an emote on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash top hat. Yes, it would be great if one was available there for people uh, to purchase. If they, um, I don't know the buttons on Twitch, but if they give us some sort of financial remuneration for it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to give us money, it's a free service and it's free to watch. Mm. But you do have to pay if you want to top hat rage at emote. That is true. Mm. And you will pay us. <laughs> oh yes, you will pay us. Oh. Ducks one, off the road. Oh. Oh. Love, 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 So yes, just keep your mouth shut. I would rather that people hear some of my real opinions, even if they are ridiculous mm -hmm. at times. Oh, duck one. Ah, ah. No, back, big, 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 big. Ah. Because the majority of YouTubers I watch, they look sycophantic. It looks like they're just saying things angry, to try and get money. Anyway, another thing I'd like to complain about whilst I'm moaning. But it's not like your clothesline is full body on body. you got to go. You're not seeing the real men. Almost everybody wears a mask to an mm. extent. Yeah. There's always... Like a, a facade yeah. about the real person underneath. So everyone's got multiple sides, you're yeah. correct. So I do have three jobs, so yeah, the third one. Mm. About that. Mm. Crime fighter. Yeah, crime fighter. Yeah. Indeed. Top hat gaming man. That's Top hat gaming man, crime yeah. fighter. Crime fighter, yeah. He's going around <laughs> suplexing villains. I do, yes. Oh, suplexing. They're only villains from some pe certain people's perspectives, though. Oh, you go for this sort of philosophical thing that there's always a grey. There's always there. 50 shades of grey. Well, surely just somebody goes around robbing banks and mugging grannies and that. They're, they're, they're misunderstood, are they? They're well, like, yeah, they've got a backstory, haven't they? They're doing it for their um, their daughter who's um, dying of swine flu. You know that's like something in comics. Nobody does that in real life. Yeah, they're they're doing a drug addiction or something. <laughs> or they're just scumbags. <laughs> that's, nobody does that. That's the bloody comic book heroes and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm a very honest man, you see. You can fully trust me, yeah. So no, this YouTube channel is not a big cover-up. Believe me, I'm just a lovely gaming man. Anyway. See, I've got a little anecdote regarding the Ocarina of Time. I got it for Christmas when I was 12 years old, but it wasn't presented to me on my pile of presents. I had this huge pile of presents, I opened them all up, and then there was no Ocarina of Time amongst it all. So despite the fact that I got given a ridiculous amount of presents and loads of Nintendo 64 games, I then threw a massive strop on Christmas Day. Like, Where's my offering of time? You've got me all this stuff, and the main thing I was going to tell you, you've not got it. And the truth was, they put it to one side because they wanted to surprise me. Surprise, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a horrible, horrible child. Do you know yeah. It's exactly the same as what happens now. Yeah, I was going to say, you've never grown out of that. No, no. I mean, 
Wow. Thanks. Thanks. Honestly, I'd ne- the first time I got a brand new console for Christmas was PlayStation 2. The I grew up pretty poor. They had- so if I threw a bitch fit because I didn't get the game that I wanted, but despite the fact I got a shit ton of other games. Because logically, wow. it didn't make any sense. Why would they spend all that money getting me all these different games but not get me the one I want? Logically, it makes no sense. They're trying to do a nice thing, but they're not. They're annoying me. Yeah, I didn't know that, did I? I thought they were just being dense or something. I was a very spoiled little brat, you see, when I was a child. Um, every single payday, my mother would buy me a new Super Nintendo game. Yeah, it doesn't really surprise me. When I'm across that kind of... <laughs> interesting isn't it you have to remember with these youtube videos myself included what i'm producing is an actual form of entertainment so although a lot of my opinions i hold close to my heart you've still got to remember i'm making these videos for entertainment i am making these videos for money exactly the same as every other content creator out there so so what's the difference would you say between plagiarism and fair use Screw international copyright laws and trading standards. Let's give all our money to the creative people. Because most people on YouTube are greedy and just want your ad revenue. So they want you to watch videos which are as long as possible. I, however, have integrity and I'm a very nice man. I'm not a greedy twat like PewDiePie, Markiplier and all those idiots. I have a master plan in all of this. I need about um, £10,000 okay. in order to um, make my plans come into fruition. So. Yeah, well, stop pissing people off for starters. That might help. Patreon? <laughs> Smack my bloody bitch up! And I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for those pesky meddling kids. Right, where did it all go wrong, ladies and gentlemen? Where did it all go wrong? Absolutely outrageous. And there was a World War Wrestling. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! He took his arm. Two, three. Wow! And that's it.